Hey, good morning. So today's drawing lesson is a cane from Psycho Pass. I think that's how you say it. It was a request from a follower. So if you have any characters you want me to show you how to draw, just leave it in the comments or uh, give me um, a direct message on Instagram. My handle there is Joseph Allen Stevenson, just like the channel. And uh, yeah, this one's a lot of fun. I uh, hope you enjoy it. You can check out my books at josephstevenson.com. If you haven't already, give me a subscribe and let's get going. All right, so let's get going by doing a border. I'm gonna do on mine, just a border on the top, the left and the bottom. And if you're new, to my channel, um, I just, I do borders on everything. It kind of helps me stay in the line, so I don't end up drawing right off the page. But I just like the way it looks. All right, so with her, we're gonna go just a little above the center. And with her face, um, you can kind of see, I just do this real simple rounded face. We'll kind of do the detail later. And then her neck comes down about a third the way so you can kind of see like her head takes up I said a half I, it's really more like the bottom or the top third a little bit a little bit more than that her neck comes down the other third and then the rest of her torso is gonna come back the other way and then she's got this thin neck and really um, she has like three different collars she has like a collar for her white shirt a collar for her jacket and then like a vest too <laughs> that kind of goes under. So she'll end up with like three collars. So then her torso, I've got her, she's kind of like leaning out. So you'll kind of see that um, she's got the arm on the right, the arm on the left that I've got going outside and then her torso that gets like thinner as it goes down. Um, and then just like real basic, uh, for her chest, just a little bit wider than her waist. And then on the drawing, you can kind of see if you just add um, little smiley faces back and forth, um, I'm gonna later kind of make those creases. And then you can kind of see there where she's already got like two different colors sketched in. Now her hair is pretty short and I, I call them shark fins, but basically if you start at her ear and kind of work your way up to where kind of the hairline's gonna be, which will be just above where the ears are, about the top third of her head, and then just basically kind of scraggly down. And then on her face, I'm just kind of sketching it a little bit darker, but again, just really basic. I'm gonna have an open mouth, and um, easiest way to do that, just go up from the chin and um, kind of a, a flat line for the bottom of her mouth and then just a curve for the top. And then her nose is gonna just be a real basic um, sideways, sideways little arrow. All right, so then on the eyes, top of her eye is gonna be straight across and the bottom is just gonna be rounded with her pupil right in the middle. And then an almost straight line for her eyebrow above that. And then the same thing on the left side. So just kind of like a, a uh, almost straight line on the top, rounded on the bottom, pupil right in the middle, and then eyebrow. And I'm just sketching in like the basics so that um, I can use kind of my ink pen to get all the other details. So I'll start with the eyes. So. You can kind of see the eyelashes, they usually always, with anime, you're always gonna have kind of like a darker, thicker eyelash on the top. So I'm I'm kind of just sketching it in really basically, but you can kind of see that I've got it a lot thicker on the top, thinner on the bottom, and then I'm adding just a little bit of like kind of grunge to it. So just not perfect lines, real scraggly. I'm doing that on all the lines. So same thing with the pupil. I'm just kind of filling that in. And then on the inside of the pupil, I'm gonna um, hash it. So just do lines straight through it. And I'm gonna have the bottom of the pupil be a little lighter and the top be a little darker. So you can see on the video right now, I'm kind of filling in the, the eyelashes. 
but now you can see right there, just cross hatching. So that way it kind of adds a little bit of light. And then I, I like to put a few lines above and below the eye um, before you get to the eyebrow. That way it kind of adds a little bit of detail. And then same thing on the right side. So on the right side, it's gonna be a thicker top eyelash with a couple of lines that kind of curve down to outline the eye. I'm not gonna connect the whole thing, um, just enough to kind of like make the viewer use their imagination. And then uh, um, the pupil, same thing as the right side. So, I mean, you don't want the shapes identical, but the style is, is totally a good idea, I think, to have them somewhat similar so they look like they belong to the same face. Um, and so same thing, like kind of straight underneath, add a couple of lines. And then for me, when I do eyebrows and eyes, I like to make sure that the insides point at each other. Cause if you have them kind of off, you're gonna, you're gonna regret it. It's gonna make them look like Quasimodo or something. It's just not gonna look right. Um, on the inside of her mouth, I'm just kind of adding like a little rounded shape and filling in dark. That way it looks kind of like her tongue is in there and it's not just a big empty abyss. And then I'm just tracing the pencil that I already have in there with my ink pen. So, all right, so now on the hair, uh, anytime you do hair, just use try to use smooth, even strokes. Um, if you get choppy with it, it tends to not look right. And if you're just doing the outline, if you do them smooth and even, you can always go back and add a more choppy later. So, you know, on mine, I'll kind of tend to just um, commit and go for it. So I'll pick a line, I'll, I'll follow what I've already done with my pencil, but then you'll notice I just kind of go up and down, up and down, um, and I keep my lines nice and smooth and straight. And on this drawing later, I'm gonna come in and kind of make it a little more grungy, but at least if I have this kind of outline done, then it uh, it looks, to me, I think it just looks a lot better. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna finish outlining her hair. And um, the other reason too that I start with pencil is then I can kind of do the outline of the head and make sure that where the hair is looks right. It's so easy with hair to kind of like accidentally go off in a direction that then looks like they either have a really bad haircut or <laughs> the hair is just wrong. So, um, and I'm, I'm gonna, you know, you can see I'm doing her neck now, but like I can already look at the hair and realize I need to add a little more to it. So, um, periodically too, like I'll erase the pencil because my hand, cause I rest it while I'm drawing. Um, it'll just start smudging the pencil all over the paper. So I'll kind of erase as I go, just to kind of keep that from happening. So now in the drawing, I'm just gonna be essentially outlining with my ink pen all the pencil work that I've already done. So a trick when you're doing collars is um, you'll notice like on the right and left hand sides of the collars where it's on the outside of the collar, it gets really thin and then thicker on the inside. So this may seem like a really simple thing, but having it do that, it automatically adds depth. It makes it look like you're looking on the inside of the collar. So, and you can kind of do that with, with really anything. Um, but, you know, anytime you want to kind of do um, depth, have one side be thick, one side be thinner. And then you'll kind of see like, as I'm doing these other ones, again, like anytime I do the main line, I try to keep it pretty smooth. By the time I'm done with like the first iteration or the, the first um, layer, you could call it, I kind of almost want it to look like a coloring book in the sense where it's like you could just color it and um, and there aren't, there aren't a whole lot of details. To me, I don't like to leave my drawings like that because I feel like it's not detailed enough. I like more detail. To me, the detail's one of the most fun parts. Um, so obviously you can do it any way you want. Um, so I'm just kind of adding through. At this point, you know, I'm adding lines that will um, end up being my creases in her shirt. And uh, since her shirt is really dark, 
Um, I'm going to end up adding in some marker now. And the marker is just going to be like the areas that I want really dark. Um, and I don't want to have to like darken the entire thing in with like my ink pen. So like the lower half of her torso is mostly going to be dark. So it's a little hard to see, but I'm basically following these crease lines. And if you, if you start with the darkest portion first, um, it's a whole lot easier than to come back and add in the line work um, in between. And you can kind of get a, a feeling for if your creases look right or not. Um, so like in her armpits, um, or the armpit area, um, is going to be dark as well. Um, I kind of want it to look like the light is coming up from the top. And uh, so, you know, it's a little bit tricky, but essentially um, I want the outside edges and I want um, the lower half of her torso to be dark, and that should give me kind of the shadows that I'm looking for. That's the goal. We'll see if it turns out or not. So you'll notice too, like a lot of these, they're just kind of like the hair. They look like the hair, but pointed up. So if you kind of get lost and you're like, well, where do I want mine to be? Do um, points um, going up and that will kind of add that shadow. So you'll notice even like on the hair, I want, um, I want some dark spots in her hair because her hair is dark as well. You'll notice too, I like, I, I like, to me, I generally keep all my, artwork black and white. Uh, I just I just like it. I've done some color, but I don't know. I, this is kind of like my thing. So um, kind of just fill in all the ink first. Once I'm good with it, um, then I'll get my thicker pen out. So let's see like shading underneath her head right here. I'm just doing straight lines all the way across. And then I use my thick pen so that on all these major borders, like her clothing, her neck, um, I can make them darker, but I'm not making them like perfectly straight. So I'm, this is where I kind of add in that little bit of a grunge look. So even with her ear, I'm just sketching in a basic ear, but then I'm doing lines and I'm not cross hatching. So cross hatching is where you kind of go back and forth. I do like to do that, but on this one, I'm actually going to just be going with straight lines. And on the edge of her hair especially, um, I can kind of just make it really messy. Um, so the lines are just real scraggly, uh, messy lines. And, and obviously like with hair, that just works well because it kind of uh, will end up giving it the texture that I want. But I can do the same thing on the shirt. So since I know her shirt's going to be dark, I'm going to start going through and just adding dark lines all the way through her shirt. It's going to take a little bit of time. Um, notice though, like on the right hand side here, I'm not going all the way to the edge. So I can immediately add another highlight just by not filling it completely in. Now you want to be a little consistent. So like I wouldn't want to have light on the right hand side of her arm and right hand side of her torso, but then, um, all of a sudden have it show like on the left side of her face. It would kind of make your eyes be like something is wrong here. So the bottom of her torso I want nice and dark. The top I am going to fill in but I'm going to do it kind of as like a lighter fill. That way it'll still look like there's light on the top. Um, so and again like left hand side of her torso, right hand side of her torso, just very minor highlights. Um, that way, you know, the light still, it still like makes sense where it's coming from um, and adds the texture that I want. And kind of going back, I almost think that maybe I should have left like m a little bit lighter areas on um, the top half of her torso or chest, but you know, hindsight's kind of 2020 sometimes when you're doing it. So I'm kind of just going to go through and and uh, you know, add this kind of grunge shadow to it. Um, I'll add a secondary shadow underneath her head, and I do that quite a bit. So I'll have like an initial shadow that's real dark, a secondary one that's lighter, and it kind of gives the uh, the idea um, that there's multiple light sources, and it just kind of looks really cool. 
So while I'm finishing the shirt up, um, make sure you leave in the comments uh, any requests if you have some characters you want you want to see me do. Um, I'll try to get to them if I can. Uh, it might take me a little while, but I can get to them. Uh, make sure you give me a subscribe, and if you're on Instagram or Twitter, uh, you can give me a follow on those. I generally will like post the art on those and then the lessons on YouTube. Um, I don't really use like Instagram TV or any of that yet. Um, it's just hard, like it times out a lot when I upload videos that are very long, like even like 15 minute videos, it just, for whatever reason, doesn't work so great. So, you know, I post the artwork there, like the pictures, and then I do, you know, my, uh, my lessons here. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thanks so much.